Welcome to the Roman campaign for Davidi et Impera 1.2.2. I'm picking up exactly where I left off in, the, in part one, simply because this part's going to talk about getting the public order under control, because if you look here, this whole area is a complete mess. We're going to have to deal with rebellions, because I'm still for dealing with the consequence of winning this, this kind of auto-resolve siege here. So I'm just going to run the end turn, just to kind of get the campaign underway and as I say managing the public order is a very very big issue once you've been fighting a series of battles and you've captured something and no, I don't want wisdom. peace with Epirus simply because the bugger uh, I'd upset the Carthaginians we're going to retreat and well, we're hopefully we will be able to take this army down Right, Epiphorus is landed. Okay, rebellion imminent. Yes, that's a fact of life. And ready for battle. If I if I bring this army up Commander. behind, no, I really want to attack ready with that army. If I bring this then. army here and order. attack with this army. Attack for Rome! Now, if I fight this, I will probably have a very, very tough battle because they've got their army smaller than mine, but they have got everyone in the green. Where my armies are um, very damaged, therefore their morale is going to be low. Let's see what we can get victory wise close 63%, 76%. I'm going to risk this, guys. I could lose a general here. But I want to make sure this army is completely killed. What I don't want it to do is fight a battle and then a silly little army run away. Well, we didn't lose a general. And we may actually get a bit of replenishment here. Um, let's enslave captives. Right. We got away with that, guys. <laughs> and, and what I do want to do is... Uh, we got this army here, general here. I could bring him back. I think what I'm going to do is bring this general down here. And I'm going to need you to get into here. And what I'm going to do... How far can you move? I'm going to risk bringing this... I'm going to leave this general roughly about here. And we're going to also give you there. That should slow down the rebellion here. Got three in here what do you wish both to? these guys are deployed no nope, no nope, I don't have it okay I can't get another to country we've got this idiot here I'd love to get him where's my agent How can I now, now I could come up and try and convert this guy but if I do that when this research finishes I won't I'll still only have two governors and I also have a foreign governor so what I'm actually going to do is bring my agent up to about here and deploy her. Because that's the key. Just to explain what I just said, guys, is see, I can have two governors. And at the moment, I'm doing not diplomacy. Oh, we can have a quick look. Nobody's going to love us anyway. So, But I'm currently researching here which means a couple more turns and I'll be able to recruit my own dignitary. And the problem is if I convert this guy, I will have him here. All right, he's a level two, but you're always better to have your own governors to start with. And what I want to do is once the technology has gone over and I've done the conversion, then I can actually work on getting him kind of done. I think what we can do is... Do I want a back garrison here? No, I think we're going to do that. I'm certainly going to convert that. And, oh, we've got no cash for that. Okay. Right down to 1,400. Put that here. I think that's all we can do this turn. Actually, what I can do is... Ready for battle. Can I get some cheap units here? Yep. Come, fight Let's get a Rome. couple of cheap units in here. And then you'll be able to patrol and help improve the public order as well. So we're going to go for another end turn. Oh, we got. 
So, we've got here. And I don't want anything at the moment that increases upkeep. Okay, Vanguard Legion, 5% that. Certainly don't want that. I don't want that. Don't want that. Okay, we'll go with that. At your command. And we'll probably have the same effect here. Vanguard Legion. And we'll go with Engines of War. And of course, our faction leader. This guy's got. What, what traits have you got here? 5% armor. Morale. Plus 15% local province. I think we'll change that just for the moment. Uh, Gravitas, capable bureaucrat, and I think we'll give him capable bureaucrat. I don't really need that at the moment, but I certainly need that. Uh, I mean, Empire Maintenance is great with the generals, but at the moment, if I go 1% of that is, what, about 42, 42 um, sesterces, it's not really worth the effort at the moment. You really need the Empire Maintenance once, because if I, again, just to make the straight guys, if I come in here, my Empire Maintenance is 11% at the moment, and the, I'm getting taking more damage and losses due to uh, the low public order than I am actually from the Empire Maintenance. So I think that's all we can do this turn, guys. Hopefully we've got a little bit of positive public order running at the moment. So we should be able to start getting things under control. I mean, I've got to accept that I will probably have a rebellion somewhere. Right, rebellion in in, in, in Latinum. Yep. Yeah, okay. What we're going to have to do is we'll bring this guy over. Actually, nope. You stay there. Get this guy into patrol. What's that done? Now it's only minus two. You're minus three at the moment. If I bring you over here and you patrol, that's now minus nine. Okay. Bugger. If I cancel that, it's still plus four. Okay. What I, I want to do here is get some more troops, I think. Want a little bit of cash? Okay, let's spend some cash first. Because this is where we're liable to get the rebellion. I want that in there. And I certainly want the sacred grove going there. And I want these guys aren't strong enough to get a couple more troops into here to deal with any public order issues. Although you can guarantee that what will happen is that the rebellion will be here. In fact, I think what I will do is move this army to about here. We're going to have to take a chance on Epirus being all? cheeky. But, um, but that way, if we get a rebellion in each way, this can be dealt with. Um, you are now positive. Great. Okay. I think that's all we can do this turn. But obviously at this stage you burn through a lot of turns and that's something you really need to be aware of. Yep. Rebellion imminent in Italia. Of course we got an agent down here. What's the rebellion like now? Yeah, because basically Ephorus is now giving us jip. But what we can do is bring this up over here. And put you in patrol. You and I think what we're going to do is come down here and see if we can coerce this agent into joining us. I mean, we'll probably get the agent killed, but it's worth the risk. Oh, well, at least we stop them. And that will actually help with this area here. Got it. Held at ninety-two percent, and this is positive. Okay, and I don't want to build that up. What I do want to do is focus very much on this part here. This is building up. Uh, I've got three turns to, to that, five turns to that, one turn to that. That won't actually give us any public order. 
we won't get anything out of here but what I do really want to do is build up actually just, just have a look we've got 5,000 to spend actually I think what I am going to do it's a bit risky but we've got our where's our last general okay it's it's going to cost us money but I'm just going to put in a couple of here and then that will mean that I can then move this army back to here and put you on patrol and he now gives us positive two over here I know it's going to cost us money but it's going to be money well spent guys because to explain these are my generals that have got the biggest impact so actually yeah if I kind of go through them so if you kind of look at the generals effects see all these effects by so by getting four generals up and running managing your province you can actually get the benefit of the public order there you can see there's plus five public order from this guy and he's giving he's only given three public order but we've also getting a bit more extra cash out of it and this is the way you need to look at it uh, I think what we're going to do here is get some food in there and I think what I'd like to do Arintium is up here so that's I want to build that up just in case these guys cause trouble okay um, got skills okay can so what can we give this guy uh, Channing, Cunning, or Foreign Administrator. Certainly going to give you a political reformer and administrator. Okay. By one authority, what do we get from authority? If the manipulation, security, cunning. Okay. We'll give him that. We seem to filled all those slots up quite quickly with that governor right gonna go for the turn right rampant piracy hunted call to the sea term call to the by a terminus star to steer by by uh we'll go for hunted right faction rises yeah, I was actually watching this on the intern, guys. What what the Carthaginians have done is they captured Syracuse and then they actually liberated it. So I don't know whether... Who are... Oh, we don't know who these are. They've just liberated a, a function, faction. Okay, we've seen we're on here. Carthage, they're very friendly. Let's... It says these guys are neutral. Greetings. Can we get some trade now out of them? Speak no. plainly. No. Oh, come on, Athens. Come on, Athens is always a good shot. my friend. You have my nope. ear. No. Nope. Oh, come my on. My people are wealthy in intellect and do not Classy. need your goods. Masilla. They might like Be us. Welcome. But may Athena nope. strike us. Okay, we'll just. Well, at least no one actually wants to attack and kill us. If nothing else. Right, so we've got our general here. At your command. You just stand Make here men. and go into patrol. March until your feet bleed. That now then gives us plus ten more. here. I know we've got lots of armies here. So maybe if we, we sneak you across the border. Is that all? No, I think it's more important Make for you to men. stay there. So we've now got three, four armies in patrol. I'd love, I need to take this up to get the garrison going here. So, what are we going to go for? 338, that's minus one food, that's minus one food, they're all minus one food. I think I'm going to go for the cash to start with. Of course, these guys are gently refurbishing. This is my faction leader. He's, yeah, I need to get these armies strength, that's why there's no point going out and attacking. Oh, bugger. 
think what I'm going to do is send my agent up here. That other agent seems to have disappeared. He's they're probably lurking here, causing trouble, but there's not much I can do about that. Okay, guys, going to go for another intern. Right, we've got scholarship and we've researched the tone of tactics. Okay, what is tactics? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm particularly interested in that. What do I get for it? Scholarship, mission issued, war feather. Nah, that's not worth the effort. Some of these missions aren't just worth the effort, guys. What I am really interested in is that, because I want an auxiliary camp so that I can get better cavalry. Because at the moment, if I At your command. show you this guy, we hunger for and if we go into here, the only cavalry we got is Equitos. So they're okay, but I've actually, I think, as the Romans did in real life or in the past, what they actually did is they used auxiliary cavalry provided by the the nations that they conquered and the one I'm after is I should be able to get it is Tarantine Cavalry Tarantine Cavalry are some of the best all round cavalry until you can afford the really specialised cavalry I think we're going to drop a bit of food in there I'd love to ah, bugger. actually cancel that I think that's more important now the reason I'm doing that is that until I've built this up, I have this fixed, I've got no, see here, it's, I've got no ability to recruit a navy. And if I'm going to come out here against the Etherus, I'm going to need a navy. I know I could recruit uh, some, a navy up here because I've got this port here. But I, I, what I would like to do is get a cheap general out to go and explore make friends possibly with Greek Egypt down here and the Sukhalids but I I don't really want to start up here and I think having this uh, plus this will give us money and a little bit extra and I think what we can do is expand this and I've cocked it up I'd like to do is get the salt mine okay rethink Cancel that because I made a mess up over here. Get the salt mine up and running, and we'll just have to build this the next turn. This is what this is all about. How's the public order going? Yeah, we've got pubs 13 here, 7 here. So we're driving this down. What we really want is this down into the green before we do anything else. Actually, I've made another mistake as well. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to do it the next turn because I really should have recruited a governor. I don't think I can get one now. Uh, no, I can't afford it. 2,400. But I'll just keep the rest of the cash and we'll recruit him next turn. So I'm just going to go for an end turn. Construction complete. Public forum. Now it says unhappy populace here, guys, but what you need to remember is that the public order is increasing so that's not a warning that they're getting unhappy what it actually means is that they're actually getting better because if I click here if you come over here it says outrage population eight minus eight growth minus 16 percent tax rate and we've actually got a little bit of public order issues here as well due to the but that's actually improving. So actually, if this is minus 76, if we go to here. Oh, these are guys who are actually unhappy as well. And right, don't make the same mistake as last time. We definitely need a wealth from presence, growth per turn, commercial costs. I think we'll recruit you. And I think what I'm going to do, where's my, where did my agent go? How can I okay, resistance? back here. Where did that... There he is, agent back. I want you back. I want to... Now I want to try and recruit this guy. 
and I think the other thing I want to do now is if I can afford it uh, I think that would be more useful than that sorry I'm putting that off but because at the pinch I can recruit a navy there at a pinch I mean it's going to be a few more turns yet before I can afford to send my armies out and start expanding I mean this is now 76 I mean this is what this is all about so let's just have a quick check you've got winter you've got minus 10 percent so we're we're getting there guys we're getting there and all right I'm just gonna go for another end turn all right first thing we need to do is deploy I shall see to the grain stores. That now gives us plus 16. And the nice Epirus agent came down here. So we're going to see if we can get a coercion on him. Come on, you want to join the Roman Empire? Did not come. Never sent any progresses. Okay. And I think what we can do now is we've got the population to a point now where I think. I can start recruiting this army up a bit. We got a bit of income now, Come, fight for Rome. and I get some artillery. I'm certainly going to need some artillery. Don't want this to be too expensive. Let's get maybe another slinger. Give us four slingers. So I don't want to go too far over. But actually, cancel the slinger. Let's see if we can, because I. I really, really need to build something up. Actually, maybe we will cancel the artillery as well. Because I don't, can't build that. I don't want to build that up. What we can do is get that built. That leaves us a little bit more cash. And can we recruit here? We can't probably recruit, oh, we can't recruit the artillery. I think what we can do is get some of these axemen. And what I want to do is build this army up to a full stack. And then we're going to look maybe expanding out this way in the near future, either that or hopping the water here to get into Greece early. I don't really want to come down here. I mean, if I come down and attack these Syracuse and usurpers, it's just going to upset Carthage. And I don't particularly want to upset Carthage just at the moment. Right, this army's back to full strength. These are going to be my defensive armies. This is going to be my offensive army. Actually, let's just check. 31%, 32%. So we're not in the ascendancy yet. So we're going to be okay from that point of view. And I think going to pop another end turn, guys. Oh, got some skills. Got my agent here. If there's any way we can increase the manipulation, persuasion, anything to do, intercept orders. Coerce, that's just keep pushing up on this one. Name and subjects on the lips of everyone who provide the benefit remains to be seen. Infamy, okay. And here, remember your phone's been found good to poison his ward, inherit the boy's land. What would you have to do with him? Well, we're going to put him on the Tiberium Rock because that often works. Now, what I'm going to do now, guys, now another quick tip, guys, when you're recruiting, what you need to be aware of, that the population that you recruit from is actually spread between the various regions. So what you want to do is move your army between the regions just to kind of spread the load. But so what I'm actually going to do is move this army around to here because this area would not have recruit, had any recruitment in it. But of course, the first thing we're going to do is see what much cash we can make. Because building up, I definitely think it's time to convert that. And I think we will get our first piece of artillery. And uh, I think I want three axe units. They're quite cheap. Let's see what's it here. 35. They're probably my best at the moment. Kind of offensive unit. And they've got reasonable defense. They've got no armor. But 
they're quite cheap and cheerful. I don't know, the Starty, they're 31. I think I think well, three axe units would be quite useful. And then we'll kind of start topping up with other other kind of cheaper units. Actually, nope. What am I doing? I want to convert this guy to gain manipulation. Get coercion. Come on, you want to join you want to join the Roman Empire. Yes! Oh, not successful. Was not a convinced a member of their target's household to join them before making they convinced a member of their target's household to join them. And does that mean you've actually improved your household? No. Okay. I'm not sure what that actually meant. But we can have a look round. I, I haven't done this for a little while. Household. No, you don't have a household. You've only got snake. General. What? So it's about time we reviewed the households anyway. You've got plus 10%. That's useful. What have you got over here? It pays to do this from time to time, guys. Oops. Because the way the households work is cunning plus one gravitas five percent armor sometimes you get a blank slot left we over like this see uh i'll give him some armor Ready for and you've got goose okay yeah so it pays to review your generals from time to time just to make sure that, that you've got everything you want okay we're gonna go for an end turn Arcs construction. That's good. Oh, we got plus twenty-five percent influence senators. That's gonna. Wow. I'm gonna have to swap my general. Paka. Uh, let me explain how this gravitas works. Now, my Julia has reached thirty-seven percent. That means it puts the seven percent above. Now, if your percent difference gets too high, I think with four factions, you're talking forty percent. That increases your risk of civil war. It doesn't work a problem at the moment, but. The problem is that if if you get a gravitas that's very very high or your influences gets very very high what actually happens is that adjusting it as the game goes on in the early game it will fluctuate quite considerably but oh, once you get into the mid to late game shifting these percentages is very difficult so if you start getting a high a probability of a civil war you actually start to run into problems so what I actually need to do is, um, this is my kind of general, and what I'm actually going to do is swap these generals round, and I'm going to put this guy, and I think you can have all those, and you can have all oops, no, those. In fact, yep. Actually, yeah. So what move. we've got now is this Commander. is my faction leader who can come this way Advance. and he can go into patrol. You will march to your and feet for battle. this will be my offensive general, Your Amius Pappus. You've already got 30%. And what I will probably do is when we go up here, Oh, and we'll swap the forces round again to give it to this guy who will then lead the attack if I attack north. So my offensive army will be Commander. this one. Does that all make sense? Okay. Right, we've now got that. I think what I want to do now is I think we're going to go for... If we go here, we get plus minus two em empire maintenance. This is the way to get your empire maintenance down initially, guys, is to follow the philosophy kind of timeline. And of course we're going to have another crack at this guy. A woman's words On can be principle. Your One thing is we are keeping him occupied. And we got a bit more cash. And I am immediately going up for that. And and I think I want to take up nope nope and I want my auxiliary. Yep, yeah, it's a Tarantine at the top, Romanized. 
So that will give me the cavalry in four turns. And I think once I've got that four turns, I can then get some cavalry into this army. And maybe we will start to move up here. Just want to check my agent status. We can't. And I can get a, a veteran. So the next turn we'll recruit a veteran. So here we go, guys. So here we go again, guys. Yep. Yeah, I know the mission failed. I'm not particularly that side a bit interested. Construction complete. We've got a farming settlement built. And of course, what I want to do now is get my offensive army coming back here. And of course, we're going to drop in patrol because all the public we get as much public order into here as possible it would be really really great and one more attempt at conversing this guy it did not coerce the joining cause even less his progress was hindered and it's going to get you back in the next step here come on why won't that? Oh, you're in the city. Make not meant to make. be in the city. Stance patrol. Right up here, I want to recruit a veteran. So what we got here? Well, parent army, that could be good. It's the parent army, yeah, you're going to be very, very useful. Line of sight, but military training could be quite useful. Upkeep for breading games. Um, plus two percent tax siege recruitment three construction costs in local province I actually prefer that I think so we're going to recruit you My sword is yours. and your job is going to be at the moment is just to keep an eye on there while I'm gonna have one more go at cracking the governor down here and then my army is gonna have to do something else uh, we could. We got 15 we here. We got four turns. We got cavalry. I think I could afford to wait before I recruit again. So we got three more turns before I can get some ca um, cavalry. And I probably won't get a battle in this part, guys. Okay, what we got here? Public orator. I certainly want that. Uh, Empire maintenance. I think we'll go with that. You can see how little that actually increased. But as our empire expands, that will make a difference. And we go for another end turn. I think what I will do, guys, is I'll keep going until our auxiliary is barracks is being built. And then that will take us in the position for us to push north. I think I will go north to start with with this campaign, like I did in my first run. Because I think if I can secure my northern border, then I can switch my attention back to probably Ephraim. I probably will follow the same path as I did last time. I, I don't really want to go up against Carthage because they're the only people at the moment who are giving me cash. It, we've got infamy again. One of your family members has been apprehended outside the Senate. She has attacked the Senate who has spoken ill of her husband and stabbing him through through the tongue with a hairpin. <laughs> Uh, I suppose we better be... No, let's praise her, because we may get a negative. See where this is dropping now, but if we get a bit of a negative, sometimes that will work to our favour. Right, last time, crack at this guy. Come on, you really, really want to join. Did not go us. Okay, that's it. I've had enough. And what I want to do is bring this army north a bit to about there the actually nope i want to bring you this like way and you can gain patrol moving, just right keep here. this public order rising really really well so we've now got a different populate um populous here and the same here so we're rising economically and i want that up in taras it's about time we had a level two in there and of course what I want is you to just sneak over the border here just to see what's going on 
Yeah. They're nice and strong. That's good. And I think you can just come back for the moment. Because sometimes what happens up here is one of these gets a bit too powerful and then it makes it very, very difficult to pick them off and actually see if these guys are actually in a war. Any of these are in war with each other. You're actually at war with the Ligiri. Okay. And you're at peace. That's good. Because what we could do is come up and take one of these choose one to attack first we could probably take out those and then sweep that way or because we've got this army here maybe we could take this army through so we'll bring this guy back this way and he can check out this side and then the one that invades the other will allow us to slip in the back door but that won't be for this part guys we've got two more turns to go for here I could recruit Commander. No, I think I'm just going to save the cash for the moment, so we're going to go for another intern. Got skills again. I live to serve we're getting him really, really well. We got here upkeep for all land units, local armies. That could be useful. Public order security actions against agents, province, public order, province, 5% research rate. I think we'll go with that. See, this guy's really, really building up nicely. Right. Got vicious words. 42%, <laughs> that's way too high. Way too high. We're going to have to do something about that. Ready for battle. Okay. Let's get you up over Under here. Move. Okay, got a little bit of cash. I certainly want to recruit my next. I like to have Are two pieces of artillery serve, in my army. I will do anything, and I think we're As just going to bring you round here for the moment. Can I aid you so you've got two armies, you've got two armies. Okay, that could be interesting. Uh, okay, one more go, guys. One more go. I shall do what I must. Ah, we've got him. We've got him at last. That's going to be very useful. What's he like? Oh, he's a tax collector, economist, wealth. Okay. I think I want to get that up to a tier two. We've got one more go here. We'll expand this and get a second uh, forum in there. That would give me a little bit more public order. Right, guys. How many turns we got left on this? One more turn. So, right, guys. This is going to be the last part, and what I'm going to do is I want this governor up this way. Of course, I'm going to send my agent up as well and get her up here get this guy here the reason I'm bringing this my new governor up this way is simply because if we take over the north I want to be able to drop the governor in very quickly we've now got the auxiliary camp and that means that I can now get my Tarantines they're very expensive but they are worth it guys actually I'm actually I'm not going to recruit them straight away because I'm not going to attack this turn. In fact, I probably won't attack the next turn. What we're going to do is hang around and see who, which one of these armies, because they've got two armies here. They're fighting each other, and you can see here we've now reached encouraged population in Latinum. And if I go to here, you can see now we've got we're now got a plus two percent tax rate, which is increasing our money, and we've also got exactly the same in Italia so we've now cracked the, the public order issue and we've now got the chance to make some cash okay so uh, you're building up nicely and I think what we're going to do is jack this up 20 salt I think we're going to go with 10 salt that will increase my income even more 
And I say we got our agents here. Yeah, quite Commander. happily. I think you can just drop into patrol for the moment. So we've got four armies in patrol. Actually, what I might do is raise a fleet. Who we got here? Junai. Junior. Junior. Who, who's got the. Yeah, 29%. I've got 41%. Cornelia and the Plebeans. Uh, actually, let's see if we can balance this a little bit. Okay, I mean, it's, this doesn't generally have a massive effect, but I think, but it does have some effect as well. So, that eventually should bring some of my this down. Again, it works marriage and the other dip diplomatic options assassination and spread rumors tends to only work in the early game as you get because the way the mechanism works with the building up the gravitas it you've got to do a lot of marriages and stuff like that to have an effect in the late game but it does work in the early game and i do want to get this 41 percent down i would like it i'd like to have parity with at least one other fam fam family member because yes at the moment if i so the summary here, it says I'm respected, I've got lots of extra cash, I've got uh, minus upkeep, plus three, public order and all that, and plus three to diplomacy. But at the same time, it's a bit too high. I know you can see that if I go to the, where is it, the Senate, you can see here. And if I go up to another level, you can see you start to get more and more negatives. So the range you want to stay in guys is respected and balanced and possibly barely known so you want to stay in this range here and i think just to finish this off guys is we're going to go one more turn for luck so that i can remember to deploy this guy so we're going to go one more turn oh, we've got rinny's here and we're certainly going to get you as a public orator and you can do your bit for juicing the cost to the empire. So this will be the last turn coming up. Yep, Ludi there, we've got plenty of well, plus pop for public order. Let's have a quick check now. Still 41%, but once these guys get into a battle, there'll be something a little bit different. Right. Is there nothing else? Just gonna deploy you. Um, just gonna move this guy up here. Obviously, they've got armies on the move around here somewhere. Probably moving through here. So you're actually exposed. So we may be come up to here. We may be taking out the Ligiru first, Ligiria first. Uh, I don't know where their armies have gone, that's the problem. Let's see if they, who they are actually at war with. Oh, it says they're only at war with Potavium. So, maybe it's now time to just move this army forward and we can recruit our Tarantines. Oh, what we got here, let's, go, let's see what we got. I just love these AR units and auxiliaries. Look at this canine dog units. Probably not something I want to use straight away. What we got here? Light Ligurian skirmishers. See, see again, guys. We you don't get much in the way of infantry, but what we have got now is we got Camarillian cavalry. That could be useful. But again, if you look at the charge bonuses, if you come here. Uh, where's the charge bonus on here? Tarantine Romanized. Oh, I've lost the charge bonus. Oh, there. See, they've all got 22 charge bonus. But the Tarantines actually have the addition of weapon ammunition of 7 and damage of 16. So they've, they've, they're a former, and they've also got Parthian Shot. So these guys are good. But again, if you compare the stats, these guys have got that melee attack of 38 and 60 these have got 31 and 59 these are 31 and 59 and armor of 18 
but these guys have got armor at 14 and so when it comes for the early game guys two tarantines are by far the best all-round cavalry you can have to be honest and I think what we will do is get what we can do missile units wise if we got anything beneficial don't really need uh, pal sets and things here Nigerian skirmishers you've got a range yeah Sardinian archers how the heck can I get Sardinian archers up here <laughs> and a five uh, maybe we're, we'll get some Sardinian archers in here bring this army up to strength we've got two principes we've got some axemen we've got a lot of sphere units so again I'm, I'm a bit inclined to have this axe unit in we got a Car Car Carimelian elite top light manipuls. got 16 armor and that's pretty good these guys could be quite tough actually and they, can, and they can form square. Wow, that doesn't seem right to me. Wow. 73. 39. Got armor. Morale's good. Oh, they're these guys. These are 217. What's the Cameroonians? 228. They're actually more expensive. But they're elite unit. With armor, 16. Maybe I'll, I'll hang on for those. These have got armor. These are 37 and 73. These guys are slightly better. So these are almost like a, a slightly enhanced version of the Tirari. But it is extraordinary. Chameleon light hoplites, veteran manip and manipul. Okay. My instinct is still to have some of these guys because I've got a very, very strong defensive line. I need I need hack and slash line really to work with the uh, Tarantine cavalry. Sorry, brain went a bit blank blank there guys. Okay, we've got this here. We can't build it anything else up at the moment. Uh Deploy this guy. You can see now we've got plus 20 public order there and plus 21 public order here. So we're really, really cooking now, guys. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. In the next part, we will start our expansion into the north. And what I might do actually is we've got a lot of public order at the moment. So what I might do is just strengthen this army a little bit. Just to give this guy, in case any of them, anybody gets any big ideas, are coming down here. So we got this Commander. now. So we got our full stack army with artillery. Um, it's all fully recovered. We got our axe units. We got, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that, guys. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>